Good morning, John. Uh, this is part of a series I'm calling Vlog Extra Days in April, which I hope you will join me in. Weird, weird. What is... There's a uh, little guy here. <laughs> I think I accidentally just found a geocache. That's exactly what that is. And that's gross. It looks like there's some gross stuff in there. I'm going down to the river now. It's more of a creek, or as they say in Montana, crick. I don't know why. Ooh, it's pretty. I'm basically just coming down here to find a nice place to film. So hopefully I will find one of those soon. That's pretty good. Make sure my butt crack isn't showing. So I wanted to do something that no one had ever done before, an adaptation in online video. Taking a previous work and transferring it into this new media. There's not, I don't know of any examples of this happening. I wanted something that was a great story that I loved, and I wanted to make this kind of something that, that my wife would really enjoy. And I wanted something that was very dialogue based and very character based so that we could do it not as a big production with lots of sets and scenes and everything, but just as a person talking to a camera. It's a work of fiction adapted into a video blog, and the work of fiction that we chose was Pride and Prejudice because, you know, it's the best story of all time. Such a wonderful romance, and the characters evolved so much, and I'm so interested in the, in the story. And I never would have been if it hadn't been for Catherine, of course, but she's a huge PNP fan basically a scholar. It's much, much different than anything I've ever done. When I make a video blog, like, I prefer to be alone, right? This is like resting on a tree right now. Whereas this, you have to have actors and, like, sound guy and production people and writers and organizing all these people, and that's something that's just totally new to me. And also, like, making a story. Because because I feel like Vlogbrothers is a story, but it wasn't intentionally a story. We didn't set out to like start here and end up here and have a middle. It's a wonderful story. It's my, the, my favorite story ever. But with this, we're actually telling a story. We have to figure out how to break it up and how to write it and how to transfer it into the present day because obviously it's not a period piece. It's really new and really exciting for me to do something that's, that's so different. And of course, like I don't have time for this. But here I am doing it anyway because I was just so captured by the idea. And it's also important to note that it's very different from what I'm doing and thus it, I don't really know how to get it out there. There's part of me that's like, I know this is good, so what do I have to do now to actually get people to watch it? We've made eight episodes and, and to make more than eight episodes we're going to have to, you know, somehow prove that people want to watch it so either we can get a sponsor or we can just get enough views that we can pay for it. It's pretty, you know, honestly dangerous because it's very different from uh, the way that any other uh, fiction story has been told before, so it's entirely possible that it just will not be a good way to tell a story. And I hope that that's not the case. I don't feel like that's the case, but it, it's possible and that people won't react well to it. If you don't like it, that's fine, and I'm not worried. It's, it's, it, I consider it to be an extremely exciting experiment. So that's, that's how I'm feeling, and I hope that, I hope that you, like this is straight up, I hope that you like it. I hope that you enjoy it, and if you do, please share it. And hopefully uh, we can make this a sustainable project and we'll get to tell the whole story of Lizzie Bennett and Mr. Collins and Charlotte Lou. Charlotte Lou. She's called Charlotte Lou in the show. Charlotte Lucas in the book. Now I have to go to a uh, dinner party uh, with some friends of mine. And now I'm home. Hey. That was a lovely dinner party. Look what my friend Dan got me. Try of it in the morning. I'm gonna put an annotation up so you can check out Lizzie Bennett Diaries. John, you will see me tomorrow because I'm vlogging extra days in April. DFTBA. DFTBA.